So I recently got a gaming PC on OfferUp. Uh, do not recommend ever doing that, especially someone as computer illiterate as me. It ended up working out well. I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I got, how well it runs, and basically how good the value was. Uh, and then, actually, you know what? First, I'm gonna talk a little bit about OfferUp because it's completely changed. Um, it actually hasn't changed at all, but there was a massive merger uh, that quietly happened back in March. And first of all, I know I look like a huge simp with my AirPods in. They're actually really good speakers. If you do a lot of vlogging and stuff on your, on your smartphone, I highly recommend AirPods. They're like, it's like a microphone. It's a really good microphone if you're doing a bunch of uh, calls and stuff when you're out working out or working or whatever. They work really well. I think they have really good sound quality. Um, effectively, they're like a, a clip-on mic that you have with you and you don't look quite as weird um, as compared to wearing a clip-on mic like some weird reporter or something. So anyway, offer up merger with let go. Um, it happened in March. Obviously not the biggest news going on in March. Very few people uh, kind of knew about it. And then really recently, I think it was August, maybe July, they officially merged, meaning they both became one app. So I'm gonna continue to call it OfferUp because it looks like OfferUp, it operates like OfferUp, but effectively they combined two communities. So all of the people with seller accounts on LetGo and all of the people with seller accounts on OfferUp are now in one spot. Uh, really cool for game hunting. I myself have noticed better discounts, better deals the last couple weeks, uh, just as a result of a bigger influx of people selling. Um, I don't know if that's, I don't know what the demand curve works. I failed economics in college, but uh, more people selling, it seems like the prices have gone down. So now is a good time, guys, if you're if you're game hunting or whatever, uh, take a look, hit that up, hit that website up. Um, again, it's, it's if you've done offer up before, it's incredibly familiar. Same formula, there's just way more sellers uh, people that did a bunch of business kind of quietly on let go are now thrown in with everyone else on uh, offer up and I still think it's just it's such a better service than Craigslist. I don't do anything on Craigslist besides give away items. If I have like a grill in my backyard and I want to give it away, I'll just do the free thing on Craigslist. But as far as a buyer, offer up is so much better. You get to see um, reviews from the sellers. You get to see pictures of them, um, addresses so you know what part of town you're going to be going to. And again, just, just the reviews, such a good peace of mind. If this guy has 95 positive reviews, he's probably not gonna be ripping me off. And obviously when you're buying something like a PC, um, the chances of getting ripped off and scammed go up exponentially the more uh, components you start to add, like automobiles, PCs, um, anything people can take parts out of or whatnot. The good news about this item, we'll get into it now, um, it's factory sealed. I'll show you guys the conversation I had with this guy. Uh, before I do, I wanna let you guys know I'm I'm not an expert on PC. This is my first gaming PC in my entire life. I know there's gonna be a bunch of experts in the comment section uh, lecturing me on what I did wrong and stuff. I actually do wanna hear all your advice, just not in a condescending tone. I'm not making this video pretending to be an expert on PC. I don't know anything about it. I've run MacBook Pro, um, coming up on 20 years now, I've had a MacBook Pro. Uh, as my daily driver, and I wanted to get into PC gaming. Uh, disappointed a bit with Xbox One X uh, or Series X and stuff. Disappointed with the launch lineup particularly. So I thought it'd be a cool idea to get into PC gaming, especially with the new graphics cards coming out um, that everyone I've talked to said it's gonna be a home run. The uh, 370 NVIDIA uh, RTX or whatever, I believe that's what it's called, 500 bucks and it's gonna be 4K gaming, uh, 120 frames all day. So anyway, message this guy. He had a factory sealed pre-made PC. Most people would warn me away from pre-mades. Uh, I think they're really enticing for someone that doesn't know what they're doing, like myself. So um, checked out, checked the the stats, checked the price. It was going for a thousand dollars on Best Buy uh, right now today, and this guy was asking six fifty factory sealed. And then immediately kind of messaged uh, four or five of my friends um, in the gaming PC world and they saw the specs you guys can see the specs here and they said you know I, I said i was going to try to pay 500 bucks and they said for 500 bucks pick up that pc it's a great beginner pc and as always you can upgrade and change things so i offered him 500 bucks he came back at 550 um and what really sold it for me was that he would meet literally 100 yards from my house the post office right by my house so um drove out met him picked up the pc uh, 
I'll take you guys, I'll show you guys a little bit of kind of what came in the box real quick here. So the tower itself is already in the game room um, set up, but I'll take, I'll show you guys what the box looks like. Any of you ever interested in going into Walmart or Best Buy, they sell these pre-mades, but again, uh, do research and make sure the components and stuff are worth it. From what I understand in a lot of situations, you get more value out of a pre-made uh, because the pre-made companies get to buy all these parts wholesale. So you'll get the pre-made cheaper than if you bought all the parts separately and put them together. So that's another kind of enticing thing. Um, although I do hear complaints from a lot of people that they cut corners. So in the box, uh, it comes with this kind of cool wired keyboard. Uh, it's probably junk and I, you're, my ass is never gonna use a wire again the rest of my life. But uh, it's decent, it has RGB lighting. Um, the keys were responsive, I didn't have any problems. Some of the reviews I read complained that like the space bar and stuff wasn't responsive. I didn't have any issues. Uh, and then I think a really solid uh, gaming mouse as well. So literally out of the box, everything you need. Um, they even came in like a cool box. So if I wanted to resell on eBay, which I might do uh, just to get a little bit of money back. And then it came with a bunch of warranties um, and the tower and the power cable. Let's go look in the room and see how everything's set up. And then we'll do a little, I don't want to call it benchmarking because I'm not smart enough to do that, but I'll show you guys some of the games it can run and kind of uh, the frame rates and everything. Let's head in the room. So guys, everything all set up. Uh, could not be happier um, with gaming PC. It's been a really fun uh, few days at least. Uh, the only problems I had was uh, with Warzone. I think I'll stick to console with Warzone. Um, it w it, a, it takes up a bunch of space and B, from what I've heard, it's not really optimized for PC. Uh, was struggling trying to find that sweet spot of resolution and frame rates. Uh, but I did find this awesome game, bought it for $50 again, and that's The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. You can take a look. Uh, I'm getting 4K 60 uh, frames a second on it, which I think is awesome for 550 bucks out of the box. Uh, you can take a look at some of the frame rate back there as Gerald's kind of running around like a madman. But um, 550, awesome. I would not spend a thousand bucks for this. Obviously, it's not too much of an upgrade over the consoles I'm currently playing on, and it's definitely going to be a downgrade over next gen consoles. However, this is a starting place for me. It's a it's it's step one uh, for gaming PCs. Upgrades are available. Uh, people that know what they're doing are in my life. I'm not one of them. But a uh, couple cool things about why I got The Witcher. For one, um, with, as with a lot of PC games, it takes this Razer uh, Xbox controller that I've been using for years. Well, this is like the fifth one because the other ones have all gotten smashed by me. But you can just plug it in and you're just playing on console again, essentially, but with a much better uh, resolution and frame rate. Because I'm not going to learn how to do mouse and keyboard quickly. I might over the course of the next few years. But as far as first-person shooters and stuff, I'm going to stick to a controller primarily to remain competitive because mouse and keyboard, it's like it's like learning to ride the bike for the first time. Um, it's just completely different. And if you guys have been playing it all your life, awesome. If you haven't, it's just hard. Uh, second, The Witcher has this really cool thing. I've been playing a lot of it on the Switch. Uh, really, the last couple of weeks, I, I got really back into it. And with cloud saving technology, I can just save my Switch file and just immediately pick it up um, through Steam. So I spent 50 bucks, bought Game of the Year Edition Witcher again, and have been picking up my Nintendo Switch save. Skipped all the tutorials, all the stuff at the beginning of the game, and I'm right back into the middle of the game. And it's a fantastic game. From what I hear, it's a really good game to play on PC to kind of benchmark your system. And uh, at 4K, 60 frames a second, really smooth. Uh, ultra settings, all this ultra settings are on. I couldn't be more happy. The question I have for you guys tonight is what gaming monitor are you using? This thing, this monitor here is 500 bucks and it's 4K 60 Hertz. So obviously the frame rate is not going to be, it's not gonna cut it next generation. But from what I research, all the monitors better than this are like in the thousand dollar range. I don't know if I wanna spend a thousand bucks on a monitor. If you don't have a good monitor, is it completely bottlenecking your whole uh, gaming experience either on PC or on the next gen consoles. 
let me know what you guys do for monitor because I feel like I have a good monitor, but 60 hertz is not gonna get it done. I mean, it's that's all the refresh rate I'm gonna get is 60 frames a second, regardless of how powerful uh, the PC or the console is that's plugged into it. So let me know what you guys do, especially you big PC gamers, what do you guys do for monitors? Hope you guys enjoy the video. Pop a like, pop that subscribe. I'm gonna try to get more content up. I don't wanna say weekly, but I'm gonna try to get stuff up weekly. Uh, as I said, OfferUp is about to blow up. A lot more accounts, a lot more good discounts. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out there hitting up the game hunting and I'm gonna be getting back into thrift stores uh, kind of slowly as they're starting to get back into their normal hours, normal operations. Thank you guys for stopping and appreciate it. Really excited about this purchase. Um, I'll catch you guys later.